This is Hanging Heavy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hanging Heavy. As always, I'm your boy Desecrator, and today is no different than any other day. Got my man riding with me in the back. You know he's there when the cheeks clap. Talking about Puppy Ray. What's up, Puppy? It's going to be a weird day, Puppy, when I run out of shit to say. <laughs> You're never gonna run out. Puppy. I don't I'll think so. You, I'll, 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 I'll give you material. <laughs> it's different when I hear it, and you, and you do the the, the 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 tape, whatever the recording. <laughs> I like. I just picture something like. Yeah. What, what there's a uh, you've ever seen Slither? Uh like the 80s movie? No, no. horror movie from like the 2000s. Uh, James, no. Like James Gunn's first movie that got big. No, I think I've heard of it. I don't think I ever seen oh, it. Oh, come on, puppy. Well, uh, maybe uh Invaders of the Body Snatchers, those black worms. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Uh, the one goes through your mouth. They have to uh-huh. go through your mouth. Oh yeah. Yes. All I hear is. If, if Hollywood needs a sound effect for that, you know they can. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna follow the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> it one? needs to be Pract- wetter, pra- puppy. Wetter. <laughs> Practical effects uh-huh. in real time. Oh, <laughs> dale. Real time. Uh, what is that called? Oh, there's a term. A Foley artist. That's what it's called? Yeah, yeah. You're... The people that do sound effects? Yeah. They're called Foley artists. Not, not sound effects guy? <laughs> no. Why are they called Foley artists? Let's see. What is the breakdown Fofo, of that? E- L-E-Y, Foley artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Foley artists. Using an arsenal of props, Foley artists devise and record the everyday sounds we hear in films, television shows, and video games. Noises like footsteps, uh, water splashing. If you've ever seen videos of them doing it, there's plenty. There's plenty of like behind the scenes. Yes, I, I remember. I think HBO had a show of that. Yeah, I think so. But like in the nineties, uh, doing all this stuff, I was like, damn, it's crazy. <clears throat> yeah, like uh, for people, uh, there there's like two or three people in a a pretty decent sized warehouse with just a bunch of shit in it. There's like sheets of metal. There's uh, fruits and vegetables and shit. Uh, rock paths so they can do footsteps. Different kinds of hardwoods and concrete and just different materials for them to record actual footsteps. That's fucking cool. The f- I'm sure AI is going to come up with a, like an easier uh, application to doing that. But uh, fuck it. It wouldn't, it wouldn't sound the same. No, I'm gonna be the last natural Foley artist, <laughs> or the last live action Foley artist. Um, we have a tradition around here at the top of every show. We take a shot, we chug a beer, we chug our drink, we take a big old gulp of that bitch, whatever. Uh, for those of you listening that want to participate, uh, put your drink right in front of you, put it up in the air, and pound that shit. You ready, puppy? Mm-hmm. Three, two, one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, fucking being a Foley artist. And you only have the one sound effect? That's all I got. <laughs> mm, what would your what would you name your sound effect? I, would, I don't know the tongue, linguaso, <laughs> linguaso. <laughs> there used to be another eighties movie, and it was. Who is, who is? 
it was like a bunch of little leeches that but you wouldn't i think i know what you're talking about too that's what my mind went to but i couldn't think of the name it's not evasion it was called something i remember it takes like takes place in a small town and they're teenagers trying to kill it uh, puppet master no what is that make no sense? that came up i googled uh, 80s horror movie with leeches shivers Shivers? I believe it is. Oh, 75. Holy shit. No way. I was it 75. The giant leeches? No. Uh, Let's see. The I, first... think it was, I think it was 80s, man. I remember. Yeah, well, these are. Oh, Night of the Creeps, 1986. Maybe that one. Let's look it up. Oh, okay. Night of the, the Creeps. Night. Yes, it is this one. Night is of the Creeps. The old man out, comes out. It, there's a, like a movie theater. Me and Night of the Creeps. It's Night of the Creeps. It's 1986. On, like, yes. on the trailer, yeah. there's uh, yeah. black yeah, worms. Yeah, there's a chick with the <coughs> yeah, yeah, door. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That one. Where's the old man? The old man's fucking cool. There you go, the old man right there with the shoddy. Oh, man, that's fucking cool. Yeah, because he's, he's fucking he's helping them out. Oh, I'm, watching fucking... the, I'm watching the trailer on mute. I see them getting ready for like the prom or some shit. I don't see an old yeah. man with a shotgun. At the end, at the end of the prom, like yeah, the old man. I remember the old man. He he realizes he covers his mouth with tape. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> yeah, I definitely remember this. Yeah, it's like a B. I guess all great horror movies were. In the eighties, every horror movie was a B movie. Yeah. If it wasn't. Like the big five, like Halloween night nightmare, yeah. Friday, Friday. <laughs> Dude, I haven't seen this movie in forever. <laughs> I'm watching just the show. Oh, I should stop watching. This is bad. Yeah, Night of the Creeps. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great, can you watch it? Can you watch it? Anymore? You can watch it Prime, I guess. I got rented. Or buy it or whatever. Night of the Creeps. You can buy it on YouTube. I'm surprised it's not like on Shudder or whatever. Oh, yeah, the, the, the independent. Horror, yeah, the horror, horror cha- movie uh, streaming channel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You remember the other one, Creepers? The one with the little fucking porcupine monsters and shit? I think it's called Creeps or some, Creepers, Critters. Critters, yeah, those like hedgehog-looking motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they totally changed the animals in the second one or the third one. Oh, they did. It's not even the same thing. Yeah, like I think uh, they were like, "Fuck it, we're not gonna make a second one. We're just gonna take something that's like from Europe or whatever and call it Critters Two, and it's nothing the same." Or... Oh no, I'm thinking of a different movie. Critters Two yeah, definitely has Critters. Critters, yeah. There's, a, there's an oh I'm thinking of trolls I think it is troll horror movie I remember I remember they becoming huge ass fucking ball they're like what the fuck yeah. oh, troll two damn critters no fuck maybe I was wrong too trolls a fucking good movie too though Billy Zane comes out in this one Billy Zane did Look you guys. ever see uh what was it called the crimson Phantom? Crimson Phantom? That's what it was called. Or The Phantom? The yeah. Phantom with Billy Zane. Yeah, it's a comic, mo- comic book movie, you know? Yeah. He's all yeah, in yeah. purple? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I remember watching that movie. That movie was pretty fucking good, from yeah, what I remember. Phantom. He's kind of like uh, Green Lantern, because he has a magic ring. But he's purple. <laughs> and he's also Billy Zane. Yeah, it's Billy Zane. No Phantom. Nineteen ninety six. Can you say that's a comic book, huh? I thought it was. It looks like it. Yeah, it it makes sense like it would, yeah. Oh yeah. Based on the Leaf Balks comic strip. Okay. Mm, fuck you, Marvel. They did it first. Oh. They did it first. And with Billy Zane, so it's automatically no, better. No, Punisher, Punisher is older than <coughs> oh, that. Oh, so. yeah, that's true. Toxic Avenger is older than that. Dude, the Toxic Avenger. Come on, do it! 
The Rocketeer was The Rocketeer was also a great fucking movie. I didn't know it was a superhero, but yeah. yeah well, it comes out, uh, that character comes out in uh, Broforce. Really? Yeah, there's a Rocket Man. I think they call him the Broketeer or something like that. Or the <laughs> Broketeer. Damn, Dick Tracy's older than them. Maybe like, they meet the movie before them. Shit. Uh, well, yeah, we're talking about movies right now because <laughs> uh, we started watching uh, Twisted Metal. We saw the first episode for free on Peacock. Not a sponsor. <clears throat> but for those of you that are trying to watch uh, shit on Peacock, if you have Spectrum or what was Comcast or Xfinity Internet, I believe you can go to like a special website. They have a deal until December of this year of 2023 for those of you listening in the future and you're fucked out of the free promo uh if you have the internet from any of those providers you get like three months for free a free trial and if you have like cable through some of those providers they give you a year so i have spectrum they have a monopoly here in our city so they're the only internet provider and uh I'm also a bit of a boomer, and I still have cable, so it looks like your boy Desi gets a free year. <laughs> After I read the fine print on their fucking bullshit promos. <laughs> so before you think, oh, I just got to sign up and uh, put my credit card information and get that, f- that free shit. No, don't do that at all. Uh, Google it first, and uh, don't pay for peacock premium before you go to that website that's specific to your service provider because i found out the hard way your boy had to pay for a month to get a free year but these are the things that i'm willing to do surprise motherfucker Uh, i mean aka i'm too dumb to read the fine print (laughs) but yeah i'm helping you everyone else out uh, learn from my mistakes uh, i'm crawling so that you can run or something about sand and footprints or something <laughs> well, i don't know dave <laughs> from footprints um but yeah fucking uh we saw the first episode for free they totally cock tease you into buying the premium service by letting you watch one free episode fucking bastards but yeah fucking let, let's hear your well first off the <laughs> the one thing that always reminds me of twisted metal is the soundtrack but there's one song in particular that fucking stands out harder than any of the other ones and that's for good reason because it's a banger Um, but yeah, fucking, that's enough of that before they fucking take my video down. Rob Zombie, you have enough money. (laughs) (laughs) They should have made him direct this show. (laughs) Right? That would be cool. (laughs) One of the characters, definitely his wife could have played. (laughs) Oh, yeah, it's his wife and everything. Yeah, he has to, most definitely Tim Burton, his wife into movies. (laughs) Wait, I think Tim Burton did we're just putting her that made him married her <laughs> whatever uh, same result <laughs> but what has talent both have, like a, a couple has talent they don't know. <laughs> and filmmaking uh, one's not an actress let's say that because <laughs> 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 I like some of the movies Rob Zombie's directed I, oh, I'm, not, I'm not saying they're all winners puppy and I do have a Rob Zombie bias. He's probably one of my favorite artists of all time. You know, I don't mind the music. I'll listen to the music. Like, uh, his movies, really? Uh, House of a Thousand Corpses is a fucking banger, puppy. Great movie. You know, I gotta see that one again. That I one's guess. a good one. The Devil's Rejects, not so much. 
but I didn't like that one. Yeah, but his Halloween movie was fucking good. No, I fucking hated the Halloween. What do you movie. mean? I didn't, like, I didn't like him. McBride did a better job. No, he did. I'm not even gonna take that away from him. <laughs> he definitely did. But compared to Halloween H2O and all the other bullshit that they had already been doing. Yeah, you know when they do more than two, that's it. The, the franchise is going to drop off, especially horror films. <laughs> you know, yeah, they're going to the deep, deep, deep end to continue this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now they're in space and shit. I'm surprised there's not a Michael Myers in space yet. There's a Jason. With the Fast and Furious. <laughs> yeah, Fast and Furious got there faster. God damn it. Yeah, they, that's Fast and Furious. I don't need that shit in my life. <laughs> Dude, imagine a fucking slasher in a car. Like, a Fast and the Furious car. <laughs> well, that's Twisted Metal. Oh, shit. No there way. Well, anyway, back to Twisted is, is Metal. Dom, is Dom playing Sweet Tooth or <laughs> <laughs> He just loses it because all his crew... Because everyone's died. dead, finally, <laughs> yeah. He's the only one that survived and he went crazy. Oh well, yeah, fucking uh, Twisted Metal, a movie or a TV show that's supposed to be based on a game where you literally, it's Carmageddon, it's uh, uh, Battle Royale before Battle Royale was a thing in gaming, and uh, it was a demolition derby on steroids, if it needed that, <laughs> and fucking... Uh, I'll let Puppy talk about how he felt about the first episode. Uh, the first episode? <sighs> I know it's hard to... To begin with, it's always hard to make a video game into anything. Yeah. Movie or TV show. And... Obviously, I think it's the wrong network to do it. It's like... Oh, yeah. Peacock. <laughs> I'm never going to call it NBC again. <laughs> I know. What the fuck did they think? What were they thinking? <laughs> maybe it's just they thought, hey, maybe we'll we're going to be different. Info. Yeah. Yeah. Please meet be- me on the cock. Peacock. <laughs> I, uh, well. <laughs> what's his name? Captain American guy? Uh, Anthony Mackie. Research. Mackie. He ain't playing no one, right? His character is just the char- a guy they made up. You want to know his character's name? They didn't say it, right? Oh, they said it a lot. It... Maybe not in the first episode, but in the rest of the season. Oh, well, I don't know. oh well, then maybe I shouldn't. I shouldn't let you know. That's all right. You just no, I'm it. not going to tell you. That way, when you find out, you're like, <sighs> no. <laughs> and I'll give you a no, or I'm like, oh, okay, that's cute. Yeah. So yeah. Uh... But anyways, the thing I hate, obviously the soundtrack. Well, the soundtrack ain't bad, but it, it needed to be harder. I guess like the, in the game. Oh, yeah, exactly, but, dude. That that's one thing I but noticed. Metal. This is, I guess, whatever. It, everything. Yeah. The, that's the one thing I don't get. Like they're hyper fixated on '90s culture when it's yeah. supposed to be like in the future i mean at the time it was the future it's a future gone well i'm right yeah it's an apocalypse no no internet no there's no fucking spotify or whatever yeah there's no connection to the outside world other than going outside they're putting cds in their cars to play music and i think they would they would have put metal hence twisted metal (laughs) but now you what it gets the uh, annoying part of this show is how everything has to be funny. Yeah, I, I everything's a joke. Like, oh look, he's driving the mall and nothing. Like, and he's like, oh, that's gonna leave a mark or some dumb shit. Yeah. Yeah. For so, I think watching the uh, James Gunn's movies hark right to the extreme of yeah the whole action happening with funny shit happening a lot. I'm like, ah. Uh, I'm tired of that shit seeing that in movies. Yeah, Can you just I, I, not I blame, do that? I blame Marvel for that. Yeah. I think that's what annoys me. Like, like really? Really? Is that your only qualm about it so far? I mean, yeah, I didn't expect you much. Only, of- you only saw one episode, too. Yeah, one episode. 
So yeah, I'm I'm gonna agree with everything you had. I'd love the soundtrack of the series, but it doesn't make sense with the game. Exactly how Poppy said. Usually the game I believe was mostly hard rock or metal. Yeah. And maybe some like super hype or super intense electronic music, but the nineties techno. Yeah, but I don't remember there being pop and fucking hip hop and shit in it. Not that that's wrong or anything, but like it that's not what I remember about the game at all. Like I'm saying, the one thing that immediately tricked like puts me back into twisted metal mode is that fucking super beast song from Rob Zombie. And people who are gonna try to watch this movie are these people. People like us. Yeah, and people that grew it. up playing it. And they didn't do him fan service. Mm, not that I no, not at all, really. No, it's not that I didn't notice, but like just come on, at least try. <laughs> <clears throat> so throughout the show you see more episodes than me they don't do it they just I've seen there's 10 episodes I've seen 9 in like a quarter I haven't seen the last episode I started watching it and then I had to get up and do some shit but yeah we'll we'll talk about it in full when you finish watching it all by then I should have watched it all like I cared enough about the franchise itself to chug through the series and uh, yeah I'm not going to say much about it I don't want to taint Puppy's view of the of the movie or the TV series the show the TV show on Peacock <laughs> Peacock I am going to watch a Peacock when did the game come out? Nineteen eight? No, that's just out of four. Was it like ninety four? Something like 95? that. Yeah. Maybe ninety six. Twisted metal comedy series. What? <laughs> Twisted metal comedy series. Oh, it's a comedy. Listen, you're trying really hard to be funny. No shit, dude. Twisted metal came out in two thousand. Really? No, f- first released no. nineteen ninety five. I guess it re-released on PS3 in 2000. Uh, speaking of that, they have it on like the the vintage game on PlayStation Network. Or whatever their dumb catalog is called. You have to have the premium. I- <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Dude, everybody's trying to bleed you for money, man. It sucks. After... I get it, dude, but fuck, man. I miss the good old days of... You buy the game and you pay for it once and that's it. You have everything in the game. <laughs> and DLCs were free, if there was any. It's almost like they completed the game before they sold it. Wow. Weird. <laughs> dude, isn't that weird? I miss the good old days when video games were fucking finished when I bought it. That sucks, dude. And it's our fault because we pay these fucking retards for broken games. Wait, what? You keep buying them, buying the DLCs. Yeah, and their- you keep giving them your money and they're going to keep fucking you for free. <laughs> it only costs 25 cents more and look how much more you get. So, though, if I'm reading it right, the soundtrack had Ghostface Killer. Did it? No shit. The Champ. That's only hip hop. Two songs. One song. Oh, it's one song. Even better. One song. Iggy Pop was in it. Uh, Cold Metal. Are you looking up the soundtrack? Or what? Yeah. Sammy Hagar. Sammy Hagar. 55. Is it that one? Yes. Yes. Of course obviously, it is. Obviously. Of course it is. <laughs> Makes sense. Sepultura comes out, Mask. Mask, Sepultura. Then White Zombie, obviously, more human than human. And you got. And then Rob Zombie, also, right? Yeah. Dracula. Dracula wasn't Super Beast? No, it wasn't Super Beast. Wow. Look at how I forgot. Or misremembered. Oh, oh, oh they got NWA straight out of Compton. What the fuck? That's so weird. They got Judas Priest riding on the wild. 
<laughs> Airborne, raise the flag. You know, for do you listen to a lot of Judas Priest? No. Do you know like a decent amount of Judas Priest songs? No, I wouldn't say no. I'm not. I couldn't name you five. Can you name I'm, three? Breaking the Law, uh, Turbo Lover. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am your Turbo uh, Lover. Uh, hey, that one kicks ass, man. Dude, they have one song in particular that is hard as fuck, dude. Oh, well, the one he screams really long? For the longest, dude. Uh, what the fuck? Painkiller. Painkiller. But Here. even the fucking song itself, dude. The song itself is a fucking banger, dude. If somebody were to cover that song and down tune it, even fucking a step, just if it's in standard E, put it in standard D. That's probably half a step. Whatever. I don't know shit about music. <laughs> If it were just down tuned a little bit, dude, that song would be so fucking heavy, dude. It's a great song. And then that fucking note that he holds at the end for like 37 seconds or whatever it is. Back when, uh, in my youth days, I was in a. Essentially an Iron Maiden tribute band, cover band, whatever you want to call it. Just in like my spare time. And fucking, we didn't have a vocalist. And I love 80s metal. Uh, particularly a lot of power metal bands and fucking all I would listen to day in and day out is Dio fucking Iron Maiden Halloween old old fucking Iced Earth Uh, and fucking I would practice singing a lot of those notes a lot of those notes I used to be able to hit with ease and the one song, dude, that I would try to test my lung capacity is fucking painkiller. Trying to project a note for that long, that powerful, fuck, dude. And there was a moment in time where I could hold the note that long, whether it's sour or not. Just being able to project loud enough for that long, like, that's, to me, a, a feat in its own. And, yeah, dude, just jam into that song and trying to hold the note as long as Halford could hold it, even if it wasn't in pitch. <laughs> just being able to sustain a note that long, that's that's good practice, I think. And, dude, I remember when I could get it, I was like, holy fuck, now if only I could hit the pitch. <laughs> only. Yeah, that's, that's the, 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 the easy part, right, I guess. <laughs> only we could hold it. But yeah, fucking Painkiller is a fucking song, dude. But I, I hear Painkiller and it reminds me of... Uh, what is that fucking 80s GTA game? GTA. Grand Theft Auto? Yeah, the GTA game that's in the 80s. What is that one? Uh, Vice City. Vice City. It's in that soundtrack. Uh, fuck, dude. I love listening to the rock station on that game. I would just drive up and down like one of the straight roads and just listen to the radio. Crashing into well, cars and shit. The highway. Yeah, just dude. GTA, to, GTA used to be a great fucking game. What was the, the island? Was it, wasn't it broken two, two sections? Or was it just not? Vice City? I think it was three islands. But one of them was little. I don't remember the maps. The maps. I don't know why I said that word. <laughs> but yeah, fucking painkiller. Yeah, the, like most of those songs are rock. There's a couple hip hop ones. I probably turned them off because back in the day you could be able to turn off fucking songs you don't like. I'm talking to you, NBA 21 or whatever, 23, whatever we played. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't turn off the fucking shit ass music that's in that game. <laughs> so wait a minute. So Sweet Tooth is Samoa Joe. Yeah, 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 dude. So the, the, voice. the physical body of Sweet Tooth is Samoa Joe, the WWE wrestler. Yeah. Great choice because he has a great body for Sweet Tooth. He's not muscular. He's not fat. He's like a weird in between. Just a he looks powerful. Man. It's a 
brick of a man. Yeah, like a fucking sh- the shit brick house, right? Like a huge ass tree. No. Yeah, like if you were to run into this dude, you would bounce off of him at least ten feet. Uh, so fucking good casting on that, and he probably can't act for fuck all. So they put co- they put covered his face with a mask, and then they had Will Arnett do the voice. And at first, his voice is altered a little bit digitally, so it's a little deeper than normal. I mean, even though Will Arnett has a deep voice already, he does. And he, but his voice is like got a like a velvet gravel to it. Oh, dude, he has a great voice. I love his voice. Uh, that's why, I like, where the fuck is Will Arnett? He's the fucking. <laughs> he's the voice for Sweet Tooth. <laughs> yeah, at first I didn't catch it, but then the more I listened to it, I was like, "Is this Will Arnett? Who the fuck plays Sweet Tooth?" So I looked it up, and yeah. It is Will Arnett. I was like, I knew it sounded like him, but it doesn't sound like him because it's a little altered digitally. He He's essentially talking like Lego Batman. But not Lego Batman because it's a little bit deeper. And it's got like some weird effect to it, which is cool. I am I totally dig Sweet Tooth. I took back... I take back all of the... The, the negativity that I put on to it I thought it was going to be cheesy and dumb as fuck Sweet Tooth is the best part of the series I'll tell you I'll tell you that puppy that's as far as I'll go Sweet All Tooth right. Sweet Tooth is a motherfucker on that TV show Yeah they get Anthony Mackie John Doe Oh why would you <laughs> look it up <laughs> I was curious damn it Man, yeah, bit, puppy. I got the better read uh, just like me and the hints on that stupid game. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, fucking John Doe. Really? A lot of them. I, I want to say that was the name of the character that you play. Because like, he wakes up with amnesia or some shit. Just like the TV show. Oh, shit. I should have said that. I don't think they say that in the first episode. No, but he he doesn't know. He doesn't remember anything. Yeah. Until he was like 12 years old or something. Uh the 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 guy in the on the wheels come out. <laughs> what's, his oh, what's his name? Oh, fuck. What's his name? What's his name? It's not so, Cyclops, but uh Calypso. No, no, no Calypso was the ma- Calypso was the main Isn't that there. guy come out in the second one? Is it? Yeah, it's the second one. He's on the cover. Just, yeah. Mercy. What is his name? <laughs> Wheels? In, in Wheels. Go- in Google. Twisted Metal, Wheel, and Wheel Guy is the first thing. Wheel Guy. Axel. Axel, there you go. Oh, dude, it would be cool if they could get Axel Rose to voice him. <laughs> or to be you him. know where you are! <laughs> it's Twisted Metal, that. baby! You're gonna die! <laughs> I don't know why he's the singer of ACDC now, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so does Mr. Reaper come out? Uh, I guess I shouldn't be asking this question. Yes and no, right? Like, dude, fuck! I don't want to say anything because I don't want to ruin it for you, puppy. So I'm, I'm gonna say, Twisted Metal Talk is done. Se acabó la fiesta. I'm trying to remember the names. Like I have some of the names in my head, but like the obviously one character already came out—the one with the purple car. Wasn't that the 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 one with the, the purple car? Well, yeah, isn't that Reaper? That Reaper? I, want to I thought that was no. The I thought purple hearse. Oh, it's a hearse. That's true. That is Reaper. Because since the hearse was purple. I remember there used to be a purple car. Oh, I had that. flames on it, right? Yeah, yeah, it was dual flame door. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I put purple hearse, twisted meat. <laughs> oh no, that that's a uh, shadow apparently. Purple hearse. Yeah, that's what it says. It's shadow. Her- it's shadow. So Mr. Reaper was the guy oh, on the bike yeah. then. Okay, fuck. I don't know then, man. This. Fuck off, Google. Reaper, twisted metal. 
Thumper. Yeah, he was like the only black guy in the game. Thumper? Did he have a badass sound system? Or <laughs> <laughs> but he owned the lowrider car, the purple car with the other flamethrower. <laughs> Mr. Graham is on the bike. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Okay, oh, puppy. The, only, the one thing that I'll tell you is... Expect Mr. What do they call him? They call him Mr. Slam or Slam. The dark yeah, side was the 18 wheeler. That's true. They call him Mr. His Mr. Slam or Slam on the TV show. In the game, he drives the like excavator or whatever it is. I could have swore it was a fucking forklift, but it's not. That's <laughs> true. There should be a taxi guy got taxi cab guy too yeah but yeah, yeah Twisted Metal is a series that I didn't expect or ask for but it's there yeah maybe hey, they'll make a new one for the PS5 I'm surprised they didn't like redo it or like remaster it for the fucking remaster it with updated controls for like the release of the TV series, that that makes sense, right? Make a couple couple more bucks. Yeah, people buy it. I would have bought it. it. Fuck, I miss playing Twisted Metal. Those games were mind-numbingly fun and dumb. Shadows the Hearst, yeah. I don't remember that. Neither do I. I remember the Hearst, but shit, I don't remember what that was yeah, the name. The, the, TV show uh, totally fucks with your head then. But, oh, speaking of that, there's a character on the first episode that I got super excited to see. Uh, we've talked about the sh the TV series, The Mayans. It's a spinoff of Sons of Anarchy. Yeah. And uh, one of the characters that, like, you grow to love in the series, his name is Coco. I don't know who the actor is. It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> Uh, but fucking watching the first episode, he comes out in it. And I was like, oh, they killed... Oh, shit. Spoiler alert. Mm -hmm. uh, they kill off Coco and, and the Mayans in, like halfway through the series. And it kind of like sucked when he was gone. Because I liked him. He was a cool character. But fucking I saw him in this show and I was like, oh, fuck yeah, Coco's back. Fucking more Coco shit. And he acts like the same guy as he did in the other TV show. So I was totally down for it. But uh, on the free viewing of the first episode, he dies immediately. Huh. Uh, but not only does he kill himself, his last words are, eat my ass, motherfucker. Eat my ass, motherfucker. <laughs> and then dead. <sighs> Oof, man. Shakespeare must have written this. <laughs> Eat my ass, motherfucker. Maybe and then... The AI. I'm starting to believe that more and more, man. Eat my <laughs> ass, motherfucker. Whoa. I think I just figured something out, Beavis. <laughs> what? <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> yeah, it really sucks. <laughs> this sucks more than anything that I've ever sucked before. Yeah, they did Coco dirty that first episode. I was kind of <laughs> pissed, right? I was like, "Nah, but Coco's dead. Why am I even gonna watch the rest of the episode?" And it happens really early on in the episode. So I was like, "Man, do I continue watching this, or am I gonna be pissed off for another twenty minutes?" But I muscled through it, and I'm, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Eat my ass, motherfucker. Well, you know, with this break in the... In the conversation, let's hear a word from one of our sponsors. We'll be back after a quick word. All right, you know. Now, I know there are many chillies out there on the market. 
But ain't no one gonna tell you this chili ain't like a punch in the mouth. <laughs> Texas style, Texas made. Sloppy Sith, Texas chili. And we're back. And a quick shout out to Sloppy Sith's Texas chili for delivering the delish and uh, serving the yum. So, uh, in between these uh, little breaks, or this little break that we had, uh, we were talking about something uh, kind of uh, interesting. And by... And if you know anything about those horns, you'll know that we're talking about Pee Wee Herman. Uh, He recently just passed, and... uh, and that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> no, uh, Puppy brought it up, and I was like, yeah, you know what? We can talk about that real quick, because I was watching uh, the, what is it? The Nightly News f- featuring Lester Holt, or whatever the fuck, on NBC. Uh, and uh, they were like, oh, we're going to fucking remember Pee Wee Herman's life. Uh, remember that time he got caught jacking off in a fucking movie theater? Yeah, he's dead now. Damn. Like but that? remember, he was Peter Herman. <laughs> Bye. Pretty much, dude. <laughs> I was watching it and I was like, watch, they're totally going to ignore the fact that he got caught jacking off in public. But oh no, in this beautiful memoriam or remembrance of Pee Wee Herman. They bring up the darkest part of his past. <laughs> and that was like the leaving note. Like that was one of the last things they said that was like significant. Damn. I was like, wow, man, what the fuck? When he was alive, no one gave him two fucking looks. No one gave him any love or anything. They were like, hey, remember that time that it got caught jacking off in public? His Essentially, his career was ruined. Because of tabloids and shit. Because a consenting adult went into a location where they show lewd or nude videos of the pornographic variety. And they allow you to... uh, I mean, sure, there's booths for what he was doing. But let's be real. How many people are fucking jacking off in the main lobby of the... (laughs) It wasn't in the main lobby. (laughs) I mean, how many people that are not famous were caught jacking off there and that nobody knows about? Right? I don't know. Just, like, they drug this dude through the fucking mud. I'm not saying that it wasn't justified, because he was, like, a child child figure. But, like, don't put that shit in his, like, hey, remember this guy, because he just died. But remember, he was caught jacking off in the movies. Okay, bye. Like, that's how it, that's how it read to me. I'm not fucking a Paul Rubin stan by any means. But still, like, why the fuck are you going to bring that up? Yeah, too mad. They don't, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I guess. It... I I know what he did. Well, I remember when that happened. They made a big deal. Yeah, they made a huge deal. Yeah, I mean, he and lost that, everything. And that, that was way before internet, so. Mm-hmm. That just shows how hard they were covering it. Yeah. I didn't understand it. Like, I understand what he did, but, like... Yeah, for me, I was a kid when it happened. I was like, so he got caught doing something wrong at the movies? All right, whatever. I was like, well, what the fuck was he watching, right? They didn't ever say anything. Yeah, they didn't say what kind of movie theater it was or anything. So I was like, wait, well, I guess, you know, guy didn't care, I guess. He wanted to let one out, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I don't know, were you a big fan of Pee Wee Herman? I watched the TV show a little bit, but dude, I loved his movies. The circus, whatever. Uh, Pee Wee Herman. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. Let's look at. I didn't. I, I didn't mind his show. I didn't like. Pee Wee's Big Adventure. And he had another one, didn't he? Fucking yeah, that that one wasn't so good. But that first movie, fuck, dude, that movie was so. I'm surprised I don't own it on DVD. I thought they were trippy. I loved it, dude. It was fucking hilarious. 
like one of the parts that will never it's forever burned in my in my head the cloud no 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 when he's uh driving down the fucking lonesome road in the middle of nowhere and he's uh, hitchhiking the, the and the, the truck lady picks him up yeah, yeah. And she drops him off or whatever and he's like well hey thanks lady <laughs> And she's like, hey, remember, tell him large Marge sent you. And her face turns yeah. into, like, claymation and shit. And he's yeah. like, whoa! I don't know, dude. I love that part. He walks into the, like, the bar or whatever. The biker bar? Yeah, and they're like, how'd you get here? You fucking city slicker? And he's like, large Marge dropped me off here. And they're like, you mean large Marge? She drove you here? Yeah, she's outside. And, like, there's no truck anymore or whatever. And they're like, Large Marge has been dead for 40 years or whatever the fuck it was. And it was a, whoa, like one of those fucking stupid wacky zany, like zoom in and out and like everyone's all tripping on acid or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I was going to tell you that movie was fucking trippy, man. I was just like, what the fuck is, am I watching? Also, the intro when he has like that crazy Rube Goldberg machine that make toast or make breakfast. Yeah. But he's pouring a bowl of cereal and it's Mr. T cereal. Yeah. The, my one of the favorite parts of two is ah, Mr. T, eat my cereal, ha ha ha, and then he pours a bowl. <laughs> I haven't seen this movie in twenty years, and I can still fucking word for word say some shit. <laughs> anyway, I paid the fool to don't eat my cereal. Why do he have to borrow the shoes to dance just for the hell of it? The platform shoes, because he yes. wanted to make a stance, right? Like he was gonna stand on the bar, and his little gay white shoes weren't enough. He needed tall gay shoes. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, I, like I said, I haven't seen that movie in forever, but I remember a lot of parts. Uh-huh. I'm like, man, what the fuck am I watching? And I would, and I saw it more than once. Oh yeah, just, I've seen it. Just to wrap my head around it as a kid, I'm like, what the what fuck's the going f- on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the TV show was a fucking big time acid trip with the fucking uh, floating head in the TV. The couch was fucking alive. The refrigerator. There was like some person living there that had no relation to Pee Wee. It was weird, man. Fucking Larry Fish was a cowboy. <laughs> cowboy a Curtis. Bad, a badass cowboy. Badass <laughs> rhinestone cowboy. Whoa, wait. Yeah, that, that entire shit was a fucking... Either somebody was super zooted on cocaine or... Someone did a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> it may be a combination of both. Fuck. Uh, but yeah. They don't make them like that anymore. And maybe for no. good reason. <laughs> maybe for good reason. I don't know. I feel like all of that shit made really creative people. Because it was so out there. I remember when all that happened plus Pee Wee disappeared right it was this incident then this movie came out called Buffy the Vampire Slayer oh yeah 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 and everybody was pointing out that's Pee Wee Herman like, that's not Pee Wee Herman uh-huh. he gets stabbed in the chest and he's like eh 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 he takes forever to die and he's like being super dramatic yeah fuck yes dude Buffy the Vampire Slayer was a great movie yeah, I mean, I didn't. I didn't know. We all didn't know it right away until who knows? Probably when it hit VHS or some shit. <laughs> and we're like, "That's Pee Wee Herman." Yeah. Where? Where's Pee Wee Herman? I don't see him. Like the guy who dies, like the dramatic, super guy. dramatic death. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm like what? The guy in a little jacket with long hair. Uh huh. Stringy ass hair. Yep. That's not Pee Wee Herman. Where's his bike? (laughs) Dude, it would have been fucking awesome if he was like, well, I don't know how to fly. And he gets on a bike, I'll use this. And it's like, cling, cling. And it's fucking Pee Wee. It's Pee Wee's bike, dude. That would have been sick. No, 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 no. He does the death thing, right? And he just gets up and takes off in his bike. Oh, in the background, you just see him walking away and shit. Or he gets into a truck and it's Large Marge. Oh, shit. And she takes him to the afterlife. Oh, look, I just fixed the... I closed the circle of lore. Damn. You cross over <laughs> vampire with Pee Wee Herman. Damn, we do kid crossovers here, man. Dude, we, we should work in Hollywood. Hey, Hollywood, I hear you're having a little creative strike right now. Your boy and papi over here will work for papitas compared to <laughs> what you were paying. 
the best way to end a strike is to cut everyone at the knees and underpay. <laughs> look, uh, that'd be horrible. Right? That would be horrible. <laughs> but look, look, David. Okay, I don't, I don't want part of the strike. They say the, the they don't get paid enough. Okay, I understand that, but because they live in Hollywood and the the, the price of living is ridiculous. Yeah, it's like crazy amount compared, right? I'm like, if you're a writer, do you really need to? Like, if you already made a, if your you wrote the script, yeah. If you made your connections, then isn't it easier to leave and you just email? Yeah, the well, I mean, especially now, right? Yeah, like, I don't know. Hey, just try to help. I mean, that make more sense, right? Yeah, I don't I get mean, it. Like, go to Hollywood, make your connections, and just, yeah, you put your foot in there, maybe you could just jump out and start emailing shit. I guess people just get caught up in the lifestyle, man. I don't know. <clears throat> what 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 the fuck do we know, puppy? We don't get paid. Nope. I don't know shit. With all that, the great ideas that we fucking have? I'm just trying to help. Hey, like I said, hey, pay me... A hundred grand a year. You don't even have to pay me a hundred grand every script. A year, dude. That's like fucking pennies compared to what they shell out these days, right? I mean, we just got to rewrite the same shit over again, right? Yeah, of course. We just <laughs> go to the 80s and steal movies. That's what they're doing now anyway. The fuck? Oh, I love it. <laughs> is that at your house? That's your house. God. Is it my house? No, that's definitely your house. Is it? I don't hear it. I don't hear it either. Well, I heard it. You're in. I don't hear it. <laughs> I def. I definitely hear it on your end. Hold no, on. It's in, it's in your end, not mine. Huh. As soon as yeah. I take my headphones off, it stops. Well, right now I have my headphones off, and I heard it in your side. I didn't hear it here. Well, I know I do have a cat problem. Yeah, well, when, whatever. When. <laughs> All random. <laughs> Dude, every time I try to listen to it, it goes away. Or it stops. I don't hear it no more. Whatever, cat died. <laughs> Anyway, I guess we'll use that as a a good way to end the episode. Uh, your boy Desi can't go outside because apparently there's fucking mountain lions. <laughs> bobcats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bobcats. Bobcats are native to our area. But yeah, with that being said, uh, hopefully everybody's uh, enjoyed the episode. We had fun. This was good. Uh, uh, nature finds a way. And... Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go take off my shirt and uh, have sex. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, something's going down outside. All right, well, I gotta go kick some cans and <laughs> find a dead cat somewhere in my yard. So, as always, I'm your boy, Disc Crater. <laughs> this was Hanging Heavy. As always, much love and rich and rare.